G'day guys, welcome back to True Footy today. We're going to be taking a look at the uh, AFL 22 under 22, as it were. I believe the uh, the squad for this has been released and it basically now lets you go to the website 22under22.com.au and pick your team based on the squad of 40 available. So it's pretty cool. As you can see on the screen here, it lets you pick out all the positions on the field. Um, so in this video, we're just going to go through and pick the 22 and you guys can let me know what I got right and what I got wrong as it as you always do. As always, guys, I do recommend you guys check out the sponsors of the True Footy YouTube channel, manscaped.com, for 20% off and free shipping on some elite male grooming products. And in addition to the Lawnmower 4.0, the actual trimmer itself, which is awesome, you can also pick up some nifty little goodies like this ball deodorant here or this cologne. We're right on the peak of the footy season at the moment, so, you know, I'm just sitting here in my seat churning out content, and as such, these ball wipes have come in very handy. So, by being a watcher of True Footy, you get the 20% off and free shipping if you use the code TRUEFOOTY20, all caps, all one word. Go to the website, use that at checkout. Let's get into the video. Sweet. So, uh, when I go through my teams, I always like to... I like to look at the spine first. So um, as you can see, the process here is you click on a little square and it gives you a choice of players. So it's giving me all the defenders there. Um, so I guess, first of all, we're going to pick the full back of the team. And um, yeah, going to go tall. Probably going to pick uh, two, well, minimum two talls for each end of the ground. And um, sometimes three. Let's see how we go. But uh, first off, let's sort of cycle through who the actual talls are. You've got Ballard's kind of a key. Not really key, but... He counts as tall, maybe a third tall. Harrison Petty's another genuine one. Jordan Ridley as well, uh, one of the best and fairest for Essendon uh, as a, again, sort of a lockdown defender. And Sam Taylor, and I dare say Sam Taylor's probably the best name I've seen there. Uh, so I'm going to pick him as my first key defender. Let's go to center half back, picking the next best. you got to look at guys like Ballard, Petty, and uh, Ridley. Who's the next best? And McCartan. So there's probably four there we're genuinely considering. Oh, Jordan Butts as well. Handy player. But I think the best names on this list would be between Ballard, Ridley, and Petty. And again, the, the metric for this, I don't, I don't think it's meant to be um, this year. I could be wrong, but I don't. Th I think it's meant to be who's the best 22 under 22. So I want to pick who I think is the best player currently. If there was going to be a game played tomorrow... I'm inclined to go with Jordan Ridley here because um, he's won a best and fairest. I think he won Essendon's best and fairest last year. I don't know how tall he is. I can't remember if he's a bit undersized or if he ended up growing a little bit, but fantastic player. I think he deserves that spot. And my third spot, uh, you know what? I saw Harrison Petty up close on Monday night. Thought he looked really good, but I think Charlie Ballard has the runs on the board for the Gold Coast Suns. So that is my back three. Let's move on to the center. Um, okay, let's go to the Ruckman. I think this first square is the Ruck. Yep, cool. So you've only nominated, well, they've only nominated Luke Jackson and Oscar Allen here. I think it's a clear choice for the starting Ruck. Uh, it's going to be Luke Jackson, probably going to take out the Rising Star Award. So uh, we'll leave Oscar Allen for a bit. He may squeeze a bench spot, who knows. But let's look at the key forwards at this center half forward position. I'll click on that. Okay, just looking at the talls first, because for some reason this is the way I like to pick my team. You've got Norton, you've got Ben King, you have got Max King. Georgiatis kind of counts as a tall, more of a third tall. Um, and Oscar Allen as well. So, out of those, Ben King is probably the best in terms of performance this year. Uh, ranking pretty high in the common medal for a side like Gold Coast at his age is ridiculous. Um, so between it's between him and Norton. I'm going to say I'll pick Norton at centre-half forward, select, and then I will go Ben King at full forward. I think those are far and away the better two key forwards. The other two we've got, I think, a, or three, actually, Georgiatis, Allen, and Max King. I'm going to go with, you know what, it's a tough one because I think Oscar Allen's probably, if you're considering over the, the course of their careers, Oscar Allen's probably been the best, but he's so horribly out of form at the moment. So I'm going to give this spot to Max King. Um, and Georgie Hardis, I really like too. So that's a tough one. But I might go Max King. I think uh, I think the, the ceiling is probably slightly higher, but all these kids are talented. So that is all our key position players starting on the field. Uh, where do you guys want to go next? I guess we'll probably have a look at the wings. All right. So, okay. There's only nominated three genuine wings here. Bailey Smith, Jack Lukosius, and McInerney. All three good players. I thought Lukosius was more of a running defender. Maybe I need to watch Gold Coast more. Uh, I kind of thought he was like a tall defender, but it doesn't really matter. I uh, think he's probably my favorite of the three, to be honest. I'm going to go Lukosius and Smith as my two wingmen. No disrespect to McInerney. Having a great year, but I think 
Um, I think Bailey Smith and Lakosha are my preference, to be honest. So we'll go with those guys as the wing. Should we crack into the mids? That'll be juicy. Actually, you know what? I'll save it to last. It's like dessert, all right? We'll go back to the, the back line, and we're looking for three genuine, maybe not smalls, but um, yeah, maybe a balance, but we don't want any key key defenders. So you've got Stasevich, um, GF, Quaynor, um, Rivers, and Powell. So that's, that's some really good options there. Probably going to chuck G GF. If I, I'm still not confident if I'm saying that correctly, but yeah. I've heard it pronounced so many different ways that I've lost confidence in my own ability to say his name. All right, so he he's our main running defender there. Between Stasevich and Rivers, I think, are my preference there. Look, we'll go Trent Rivers in that back pocket there, and I'm going to go Stasevich. Um, probably would. I mean, there's no such real thing as a, uh, a true back pocket anymore, so it's, it's more about the, the balance between talls and smalls there. Um, so we'll move on to the forward line. Again, it's going to be interesting. Are there forward mids in here? Yes, you've got Shy Bolton. You've got Dylan Moore. Dylan Moore's having a good run of form lately. Errol Golden. Harry Schoenberg. Interesting. Uh, Jaden Stevenson. Cozzy Pickett. Georgiatis is still available. Taron Thomas and Zach Bailey. So this is probably... This is a very talented bunch of players there. I think Shy Bolton's earned a starting spot there as, the, as a forward rotating mid. Uh, who else we got? Stevenson. Probably my one of my favorites here. I'm going to go chuck Jaden Stevenson in. I mean, he's had some big games this year in a side that's currently 18th. I think my next favorite there is Zach Bailey. He's had multiple bags of four this year, if I'm not mistaken. He's going to be the genuine small there. So between Bolton, Stevenson, and Bailey, it's a pretty dangerous forward line mix. All right, let's get into the genuine midfielders. The on-ball division. Adam Chera, <clears throat> excuse me. Andy Brayshaw, Caleb Sarong, so a disgusting purple selection there. James Jordan, James Rowe Bottom, Warple. Gee, Warple feels like he's been around a while, doesn't he? Dacos, LDU, Noah Anderson, Sammy Walsh, Tom Green, uh, Willem Drew, and Schoenberg and Thomas are also still available there. I think Sam Walsh has to be the first name picked. Uh, I think he's moved into the top five of the Brownlow uh, predictor on afo.com.au, which, you know, Means nothing, but just trying to make a case for how good he's been this year. He's certainly going to be the best player on that list. So we've got two midfield spots left. Out of the names listed, I think Andy Brayshaw is the next best player behind Sam Walsh. I think he's fantastic. I reckon could be win or winning an All-Australian jumper next year. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Let's find the last starting midfielder spot. Chair is very good. I'm thinking between Chera, Warple, um, Anderson, and Green. Oh, I, I'm going to go Chera. I'm going to go Chera. As much as it pains me to have two starting Fremantle midfielders, I think he's probably the next best, and he's a little bit underrated. Um, I think Brayshaw is better, but yeah, there you go. All right, so the interchange spots. Okay, so I'll try and find a balance here between uh, forwards and backs um, and mids, obviously. So... Don't think this team needs any tall forwards or keys. Could use a second ruck. Um, but otherwise, we'll probably go with at least one small defender. So you've got Quaino uh, and Will Powell there. Hmm. Hmm. Between Quaino and Will Powell. That's a tough one. I feel like I want to say Quaino, to be honest. Probably seen more of him. I think he's been very good this year. And yeah, again, not disrespecting McCartan or Butts. It's just that uh, El Petty. I've just picked all the key backs I want in this team. So I'll go oh, Izzy Quaynor. All right. So now we're going to go for a genuine midfielder again. Sarong, Robottom, Warple. I think Warple's probably the next best. Another player who's won a best and fairest and is on this list as well. Um... Let's pick that second ruck. Uh, I'm going to pick my boy Askreland because he's the only second ruck available, but he has the benefit of uh, also playing key forward and key back. So I think that makes him a great bench option. Um, and, you know, even though he's out of form horribly at the moment, um, he's going to be an absolute star. So I think he deserves a spot in this team on the bench. Um, and then, gee, let's just go best available for the last spot. I do really like Sarong. Robot, I'm really good. Genuine midfielder. Tom Green's... 
probably been the best midfielder of the rising star batch this year. Um, Tom Green might have to be the choice. All right, so that rounds out my 22. Uh, we'll pick a captain. Oh, we'll go through the team first. We'll go through the team first. So down back, you've got Sam Taylor and Jordan Ridley as the main two key backs with Charlie Ballard as the third tall, I guess, if you want. And the smalls are Rivers, Stasevich, and Changuth Giath. On the wings, you've got Lukosius and Bailey Smith. And in the ruck, you've got Luke Jackson tapping down to Sam Walsh, Andrew Brayshaw, and Adam Chera. That's a hot 22, not going to lie. Bolton, uh, Stevenson, and Bailey are the mediums and smalls for the forwards of Norton and the King Twins, making that team with the bench of Quainor, James Warple, Tom Green, and Oscar Allen. So it's time to pick a captain. So, I don't know. Who, who are these guys are leaders at their club? I'm probably just coming from a place of ignorance here, but Sam Walsh comes to mind as a captain. He's the best player on this list too. So I'm inclined to go Walsh. He seems captainy. I can't remember if he was a captain as a junior. I'm not sure. And I think I'm going to go with... I think I'm going to go with Brayshaw. Brayshaw is the vice. There you go. All right. So that's the team, guys. Let me know in the comments what you think of the team I had and what changes you would make. If there's one person I've, you know, glaringly overlooked, let me know. Also, let me know who you would captain out of this team as well. But thank you for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.